Hey everyone, it is Danny, and welcome to this update video this evening. I hope you guys have been enjoying your Saturday thus far, and so we're going to be taking a look at our newly designated Invest 95L, which is our disturbance off of Africa being watched for development. It has a high chance to develop and could be a problem for sections of the Northern Caribbean, so we'll be looking at what models have to show for it, and also be briefly talking about our other systems out there and current conditions across the Caribbean and surrounding areas and so before I go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video. Alright, so as we return to the satellite imagery, here we can see our systems. We've got Tropical Storm Katia, which recently formed, and it has been intensifying a lot more than initially expected. Sustained winds around 60 miles per hour, but it should begin a weakening trend as we head into tomorrow, so not going to be a problem for anyone. We've got GERT out there, Resilient GERT, and Italia not too far from it, and whatever is left of Italia is expected to absorb GERT just as how... Jose was absorbed by Franklin. So we've got these systems that are dissipating out there. And as we look into the vicinity of the Caribbean surrounding areas, we can see that there was a lot of thunderstorm development this evening. Let's zoom in. And we're starting out with Northern South America and parts of the Southern Caribbean. So here we can see that there was a lot of thunderstorm activity across some spots of Central America, going into Colombia, Venezuela, even for Guyana. But for most of the territory, including Suriname, French Guiana, it has been a pretty sunny and a hot day. Same story as we head to the ABC Islands. A little bit of uh, scattered showers moving through the Windward Islands right now. Nothing too crazy. There was that blob right there not affecting anyone. Let's move further up north. And here we can see that across sections of the Northern Caribbean there is some thunderstorm development as well. Parts of Southwest Jamaica going to Cuba. Some activity in the vicinity of the Cayman Islands. Likely inducing a pretty overcast day maybe with some showers here and there. Same story as we head into the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands. Also headed to Hispaniola, going to Puerto Rico, even near St. Kitts and Nevis, there was some thunderstorm activity earlier as being indicated by satellite. You can let me know what's happening for your area, even as we look over into parts of Central America, other parts such as the Yucatan uh, activity there as well. And all this moisture is being enhanced by a couple of tropical waves which are moving through the region. And we're going to focus on our invest. So here we have it. As of the 2 p.m. update, the chance remains high at 70% throughout the next seven days and a 20% chance of seeing something within the next two days. So as we're going to be heading into Monday, this is not expected to intensify into a tropical depression or tropical storm, but rather as we head to the mid to latter part of this week, the, uh, this coming week, it doesn't mean that it can't do so because oftentimes we've seen many cyclones rapidly develop a lot sooner than expected so let's see what 95l is going to be doing out there and the next name to be used for this hurricane season is lee so this is lee in the making that we're looking at it's almost certain and all models are expecting that this is going to be developing so as i was saying earlier Parts of the Northern Caribbean, including the Bahamas and Turks and Caicos Islands, will have to keep watch because there is a lot of uncertainty down the road. And the tracks have been shifting. Let's go on to the ensemble members for Euro and GFS, and we're starting out with Euro. So here they are showing a general westward track to a northwest track, and majority of them, well, all of them are keeping this outside of the Caribbean. A couple of them want to take it just north of the Caribbean and into the southern Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. But but the majority we see are expecting that hey this is going to be pretty far it's not going to be bringing much impacts and this is a change compared to one of those previous updates because at one point a good amount of them were showing that this could make its way into the Caribbean before moving back out. As for the GFS ensemble members, we're seeing that around half of them or more are expecting that this will be entering the Caribbean likely as a tropical storm or a hurricane. So it's very interesting to see what will happen with this down the road. As I said, there is a lot of uncertainty and many possibilities are on the table right now. But if this should move in as a tropical tropical storm or a hurricane that heavy rainfall strong winds storm surge landslides mudslides you name it they would accompany the system in that case but 
as we head into this week there should be a better picture of what is ahead for this and i'll be keeping you guys posted on it but as you look to the general model track guidance here not a whole lot of models available but they the ones that are, are expecting something pretty much similar this general westward to west northwestward track and they would suggest that this will be bringing impacts to the caribbean as we head into the latter part of the coming week in terms of the model intensity guidance here we can see that we've got a decent amount of models available and as of right now most are expecting that this will become a tropical storm which is represented by that green area and then a couple of them saying that hey it will intensify into a hurricane which is that yellow region so i really think that this will become a hurricane i'm not doubtful about that but overall development and intensification will all be dependent on how conducive the environment is those upper level winds are they very strong because those strong upper level winds prevent development and intensification and when they impact our systems especially our tropical storms and hurricanes they have a rather asymmetrical or lopsided appearance and they don't get very strong and we also have the dry air out there there is some dry air ahead of the system but eventually that is going to be clear enough up and allowing for a better chance of sea and development so again imminent formation is not anticipated right now but as we head to the mid and latter part of the coming week we could see this become tropical storm lee and then eventually a hurricane and there is still uncertainty in terms of whether the caribbean will be impacted or not some models expecting that hey this will happen some say no it's going to be just outside the caribbean but showing something headed toward the bahamas and turks and caicos islands and that is why on the uh, thumbnail I highlighted that area so persons within these areas should be watching the system closely as we head into next week and of course I will be continuing my dual updates every single day and uh, that is pretty much what I wanted to share with you guys in this update and I hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comments I'll respond to you once I get the chance to do so and as always remember to be otherwise.